2022 has been one of the best years for One Piece. Some of the best manga chapters of all time came out this year. Every week we've had a great chapter, even this week. So I think this might be the last chapter of the year, chapter 1070 of One Piece. The chapter is titled The Strongest Humans, which is a reference to the Seraphim. Now in this chapter, Vegapunk reveals to us how the Seraphim kinda work. So it seems like all of the Seraphim have different Devil Fruit abilities. We actually find out that Senor Pink is an Impel Down currently, and that when you take the lineage factor of a Paramecia class Devil Fruit user, Vegapunk is capable of creating a special kind of blood called green blood and this blood allows you to use the ability of the double fruit user and all of these seraphim have this green blood within them we even get to see seraphim boa use the mero mero no mi the love love fruit now he says this could only be done with paramecia class double fruits with zoans you could replicate them fully uh, and with logias he's had a very difficult time with so it seems like this is only possible with paramecia class double fruits and maybe zoans this chapter continues the fight between luffy and luchi and luffy's in gear fifth now here's the thing the will of d has to stand for Don. Literally every move that Luffy is attacking Luchi with has Don in the title. You know when Luffy goes in gear second and he starts titling everything Jet, like Jet Pistol, Jet Gatling, he has the same thing with gear fifth. Now he's titling everything Don, Don Rocket, Don Whip. So if, if gear fifth is the representation of freedom and freedom has to do with the ending of One Piece and the ending of One Piece has to do with the Void Century and the Void Century has to do with the Ancient Kingdom, you know, and the Will of D and all that type of stuff, then Dawn has to be what the Will of D stands for. Like, it's the only possible thing I could see. Anyways, as they continue fighting, Luchi is trying to take out Sentamaru because if he takes out Sentamaru, Sentamaru's authority chip won't work anymore and Luchi will have control of the Seraphim. However, Sentamaru basically tells Luffy, hey, just take care of Vegapunk, get him out of here, don't worry about me. Even Luchi says like, hey, like Straw Hat's power is insane. He's fading out of consciousness going up against Straw Hat. Anyways, the Straw Hats manage to somehow escape into this vacuum rocket and Sentamaru is knocked unconscious. So Luchi gets control of the Seraphim and the Straw Hats make their uh, great escape. And at the end of the chapter, we get to see Vegapunk heading towards Egghead Island. Egghead Island is literally a parallel to Saba Odi. You could literally see it. For example, we have Sentamaro, we have the Seraphim, the new pacifista, we got uh, Kizaru appearing. However, it seems like what happens is contrasted. For example, instead of Luffy and the Straw Hats being defeated, they're the ones that are quite dominating the battle. I'm honestly excited to see what Kizaru does and what, see what relationship Kizaru has with Vegapunk because it seems like he has some sort of uh, history with Vegapunk that we don't know about. I even want to talk about the cover page for this chapter. In the cover page, we actually get to see the Mads group. We get to see Judge, Caesar, Vegapunk, uh, and Queen. And then there's one character that's like kind of facing away. I believe personally that that character is Stussy. Uh, a lot of people are saying it could be Big Mom, a younger version of Big Mom. However, I don't think it could be Big Mom because everyone in Mads seems to be like scientifically gifted. And I don't know if Big Mom has that gift. I'm not saying she's dumb. No, she's pretty dumb. And Stussy does seem quite intelligent, like from what I've seen. So... If, if Stussy is a part of Mads, she might be extremely powerful, like in terms of like not only being physically strong, but being mentally strong as well. We also know that Stussy has some sort of relationship with Vegapunk and she's been to Egghead Island before. Uh, last chapter, we found that out. And she's also a part of the underworld and she has a connection with Do Fled. So this would make a lot of sense, really. Like Oda has thrown the hints throughout the story and now they're all coming together and clicking, which I love. There's even a scene where we get to see Luffy and he's kind of like, de like not dehydrated, but tired outside of his gear fifth form. I don't know if this is a side effect. That's what it seems like. Every time he goes into gear fifth, he comes out of it extremely like tired and decaying. Um, I wonder if that's going to play like a long term effect on his body. We'll just have to wait and see on that. But other than that, this chapter was another great chapter. I think 2022 has been such a great year for One Piece in terms of chapters. We like I think the best chapter of the year, in my opinion, had to be 20, uh, 1044. But this one is also really good. Like every chapter has been great. Like I don't even know what to say at this point. Uh, but listen, if you want more anime content, manga content, One Piece content, make sure you subscribe, turn the post notification bell. I talk about all things anime and manga related, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, everyone.